giving back if I was in a position uh, to give back. Uh, I'm thankful that I'm able to, to give back. And it's not always about just giving back financially. It's also about uh, giving back time. So uh, not just to, the, you know, to breast cancer, but to anything that's positive, uh, giving back to the less fortunate. And uh, we're going to continue to do it. It's a fight, but uh, it's worth it. Leonard mentioned that you're going to be giving back to the community. Uh, so you're, oh, you're trying to do a fight uh, on on May 5th. Uh, why, uh, you know, what, what's the magic in May 5th, and, and who do you want to fight on May 5th? Uh, May 5th, um, of course, uh, it's, it's, May 5th is such a you know uh, uh, a great day for me. Uh, uh, with May 5th, before I, I made history, as far as holding the record for pay per view and um, doing record breaking numbers, but. Um, of course, you know the people around the world uh, want to are anticipating a fight between uh, Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. And um, what's what's so unbelievable is the guy said that he, you know, that he agreed to take the blend, the, the random blood and urine test. So I said, oh, let's make it happen. You know, to get the world and the fans are the fans what they really want to see. People all around the world want to see Mayweather versus Pacquiao, and that's the fight that I, I really really want. You know, I, you know, I'm, I'm the best in the sport. I'm gonna continue to show the world that I'm the best. But there's no fight that I want more than the Manny Pacquiao fight. Um, I guess he said he agreed to fight. And the uh, only, only thing that's stopping this fight, as of right now, that I truly believe is stopping the fight is Bob Aaron. A lot of the fans are really upset. This has been three years or two and a half years that it's been going on. But he it really hasn't been me. It really hasn't been me. Only thing I've been asking for is I just want to be, I just want to be treated fair. That's all I ask. I never accused Manny Pacquiao or no one from his camp of doing anything. Only thing I said is, uh, um, I'm not just saying one guy has to take the random blood in urine. Every fighter that I, that I face, after or before Manny Pacquiao has has to take take the test because there's so much you know uh, cheating going on in sports today. And with me being the face of boxing, all I'm asking is just, if you're the best, take the test. He agreed. He agreed. He said he'd take the, the, the random blood and the random urine test. So let's make the fight happen. Given the fact that both of you have agreed to that, and it seems like both of the fighters say they want to fight, you know, what is the hold up in the fight? And um, you have to talk. To, you have to talk to uh, Bob Arum about that. I think um, the media has been getting, you know, fooled long enough. You know, everybody's saying it's Floyd Mayweather. It's not me at all. It's not me at all. As the media and the people around the world can see, um, the, the last guy I fought was a southpaw pre preparing me for May 5th. This is a date. Uh, May 5th is a date that we picked out a long time ago. Um, you know, right after the Ortiz fight, we said May 5th. So that's a fight that's set for Mayweather versus Pacquiao. And um, it's just excuses after excuses after excuses. And at first they said that, you know, I was scared. Um, one, like I said before, there's two things that I'm not. I'm not a loser, and uh, I'm not a loser, and I'm not a cheater. Only thing I ask is to be treated fair. And uh, uh, like I said before, I'm ready. I got my guarantee. I'm ready. How do you think the fight would play out? Like, match your style up against him. He's obviously a pressure fighter. You're a counter puncher. Um, I mean, he's a pressure fighter, but there's a lot of mistakes that he makes. Uh, the way you can't make those mistakes with Floyd Mayweather. If you, if you make those mistakes, you have to pay. I'm not saying that um, uh, he haven't earned the right to face Floyd Mayweather. It's just it just so crazy, you know, that um, a guy can just pop up out of nowhere and just become such an amazing fighter when a guy like me has have been doing it since the 90s, uh, dominating the sport uh, and, and beating the best out there, and the guy just pop up from out of nowhere. And, and then people are trying to say he's on the level of a Floyd Mayweather when I've been dominating and doing this for almost 20 years now. Do you think he's the best fighter in the world other than you? Uh, I can't say that. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, good strong champions out there. You know, uh, you know. Speaking honestly, I thought Marquez won the last fight easily. But you know, easily, uh, easily, yes, absolutely easily, yes. Uh, you know, you know, when you look at a when you look at a fight, you can put the fight on mute and just look at it. And you know, my well, I watched it on mute. I had it a draw, yeah, but you know. uh, not at all. I mean, a guy's getting um, outboxed real easy. A guy, one guy's keeping pressure, but not not landing. Another guy is um, not taking any punishment and, and landing ba basically at will in that last fight. Uh, and um, I think, like I said before, the, the sport is tainted, and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's about being fair. Why do you
Bob Arum keep insisting that a fight between you and Manny can't be made for May 5th, that there's not enough time to promote? I mean, this fight is... But you I, always... I, I mean, this fight, this, 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 fight is all, this fight is already set. I mean, people have been anticipating this fight for many, many years. This fight is already sold. And then it's excuses about uh, they need to build an arena. I mean, uh, we can make, I mean, as far as I feel, we can make this fight in, in a parking lot. I mean, people going to pay. People going to come out and see it. This is what everybody is anticipating. This is the fighter of the century. Everybody wants to see Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Let's make it happen. Would you like to? Would you be willing to fight outdoors if they could build an arena or go to the uh, well, I mean, it's, it's, that's really, that's really, it's, we're, well, let's, we're, well, let's talk, let's talk common sense. It's not enough time, basically. <laughs> on, 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 on one side, they thought that I was going uh, to jail at, at, you know, just not to a few, January 6th. Yeah, January 6th, they thought I was going, uh, you know, getting right. locked up January 6th. So, um, someone called over to the MGM Grand. I don't know who exactly, who it was, and said, yo, Manny Pacquiao needs a May 5th, May 5th date. They all of a sudden found out that I wasn't going there at January 6th and said, you know what, let's move, move it to June. I, I don't know his exact date, but June 1st or, or June, sometime in June. Well, it, was, it wasn't the, it wasn't, it wasn't the MGM, it was the cable system. They call the cable system. Martin Riccardi. Yeah, they call the cable system. I don't want to throw any names out there, but call the cable system the to to uh, reserve the date. It wasn't the MGM. It was the cable system to reserve May 5th as a date. And you guys can, you know, follow up on that because the whole the whole idea was just another excuse. When they thought that Floyd was reporting, you know, then Manny could Manny was available to fight on May the 5th. You know, there wasn't no cut issue, and and then once, you know. Um, the judge gave um, Floyd the opportunity to, you know, push that back, and you know we could um, fight on May the fifth. Then it became a whole nother excuse. Are you concerned at all, you know, about the the jail sentence pending over you, and what's what's that doing to the rest of your, you know? Uh, well, you know, uh, only thing I can do is keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best, and continue to uh, continue to do what I do. You know, my job is to box, go out there and work hard. But then on my free time, when I when I do have free time give back. That's what it's about at the end of the day. How, how do you think be, you know, being in jail is going to affect your boxing career post when you get out? Because obviously that's had an, a negative impact on a lot of fighters in the past. I mean, are you concerned about what it might do to your future? I, I'm really not sure. My main thing is just like really just being positive. I try to focus on the positive things, you know. If, uh, when that day comes, or that day comes, you know, it is what it is. But as of right now, today is, a, like I said before, a great day. You know, I'm out. You know, and it's about giving the fans excitement. May 5th, Mayweather, you know, Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Uh, let's make it happen. Do you have judges been criticized for I mean, I don't have nothing negative to say about anyone. You know, uh, I'm in a great position. I'm truly blessed. So why should I, you know, uh, be out bad mouthing anyone? That's, I'm not here to bad mouth no one. I'm here to, uh, today was a special day to get back to Susan G, uh, Breast Cancer Research. And then uh, May 5th is another big, big day for me. You know, I'm thankful that um, I'm able to go out there and please, please the fans and put on a, a you know an extraordinary performance May 5th, and I will get the fans excited. Floyd, there there's some there are some people who say that you got special treatment because you're a celebrity, but then there's other people who will say, you know, maybe contention would be that you got sentenced because of your celebrity and your notoriety. Do you feel like that if, say, an average person like Carp, you know, had been convicted of that, that he would have gone 90 uh, days to jail? It, it, you know, it's just, you know, it's really not, you know, uh, only thing I can do is uh, wish the mother of my children nothing but the best. Um, she's she, she's a great woman, and, and at that particular time, no one really know know what happened, exactly. but me and her. So exactly. uh, you ask yourself sometimes, you know, you seen the o OJ and Nicole pictures, Chris Brown and Rihanna pictures, but you know you guys got to ask yourself, where's the pictures? And you know, but you know things happen, you know things happen. Do I apologize? Absolutely. Um, did I kick and beat her? Absolutely not. Did I restrain her because, you know, she was under the, the under the influence? Yes, absolutely. I restrained her and held her, told her to relax. Uh, I never said I didn't hold her, you know. But, you know, as far as punching, 
kicking and beating. No, that was I didn't do that. I think Absolutely. the thing that the judge made on your sentencing day was she was concerned about the children. Can you, you know? And, I just, and that. you know, only thing I can do is um, say that uh, you know, when it comes to the system, uh, it is what it is. They work the way they want to work, and I can't be mad at them at all. And as um, far as uh, Josie Harris, the mother of my children, I only hope for the best for her. How's your you know, relationship with your children now? My children is uh, my, the, the, the relationship with my children is unbelievable, unbelievable. She's a lady, um, you know. Of course, I have a fiance uh, that I love um, dearly. I love my children. I love my family dearly. And, it, and people go through certain things in life. It's just it, it's just a certain obstacle that I went through in my life, where I, I know what I did and I didn't do. You know, certain things as far as like with the um, the officer. You know, when, when he said that I poked him in the face, you know, I'm, I'm in I'm in a contact sport. And we all know, you know, somebody talking about someone pointing in their face, they got a, a bruise or a mark. I never seen it, but did I do it? Absolutely not. But, you know, I, like I said before, sometimes we, 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 we plead, you know, we take a plea to, to put all these negative things behind us and try to move forward with positive things. Josie's the mother of which of your children? Um, three of my children. What, which ones? Um, my, uh, my two boys and my youngest daughter. Your youngest daughter. Okay, and Melissa is the mother of the other one. Yes. Okay. Jacob, do you want to keep him from testifying? No, at, 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 at that particular time, uh, uh, I took a plea because I felt that was the best thing to do. You know, it was, it was it was something that was very, very negative, something that was over my head, you know, and I said, this is the best thing to do to get this behind. And he's always looking to protect his family. From, from, and I don't. I don't. Wanna, he don't want to drag his family. I don't want to drag my family to a public dispute because no, that just makes no that's sense. That's not cool at all. If Pacquiao says no, who, who who's the who's the next guy that you want to fight? Uh, I, I, there's so many young, strong champions out there. I, I really don't know at this particular time. There's been different names thrown out there, but as far as the guy that they're, they're saying the ghost, absolutely not. I'm not going to get a fans nothing like that. I don't even know who this guy is, but I do wish him the best. What about Cotto? What about? Alvarez, those are but you know, I, I think Cotto is. I think Cotto will. I think that's a, a very, very good matchup. But once again, if I at once, I, 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 you know, I go against Cotto, the fans and the people are going to say, you know, that's Pacquiao's leftovers. But he's still a strong, solid champion in my eyes. But like I said before, things happen. Cotto and Pacquiao met at a catch weight. Yeah. But you know, if I fight Cotto, I want him to be comfortable, and, and, and we'll fight at a weight where. Both, both, both sides are happy. What about Canelo? I think Canelo, I think it would be a big fight. I think he got to get a little bit more experience under his belt, and then eventually we can make the fight happen down the line. And then the, the one guy that's been brought up a lot is, is Sergio Martinez, and he said he'll fight you at 150. Would you fight him? If, if he said he can make 150, would you fight him? Uh, absolutely. If Sergio Martinez can make 150, uh, we can make the fight happen. Absolutely. And he's fighting March 17th, so. I mean, would that would that be an issue if? Uh... Uh, I mean, it's like if he can make it, uh, if he can make 150, let's make the fight happen. You know, there's there's you know, like like I said before, there's no excuses. Um, um, I'm a little different from other guys. You know, he got a he got a, um, a very very impressive style. But um, like I said before, my main focus right now is is, is the Manny Pacquiao fight. Mm -hmm. You know, Mayweather versus Pacquiao, May 5th. Uh, That's Bob what the fans Arum, see. Um Team Pacquiao, stop having excuses. I have my guarantee, and um, so let's make the fight happen. Floyd, they're going to do a 